I think that we would also agree that 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 uh, this protein obsession that we find ourselves in the midst of is is really um, a red herring. I mean, most people people are walking around worried about their protein intake, where <laughs> when in truth, they're probably taking in two to five times more protein than they need. And well, yet, absolutely. every product at the grocery store you know, is emblazoned with a, a message about how much protein it is, you know, with the implication like, oh, we must be not getting enough or we need more. And what I like about your work is you you stand in, you know, contraposition to that idea. Yeah, absolutely. And 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 I'm I'm the first one that will say we're gonna have an epidemic of over protein or eating too much protein and we're gonna uh, find out the, the consequences very soon. Um I mean in our paper we show three to four fold increase in cancer uh, incidence, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and 75% increase in overall mortality in the following 20 years for people that were 65 and, and below. And even for the 65 and above, it was the moderate protein intake. It was not the high, it didn't need to have high protein intake. Moderate uh, was sufficient. I mean, that in fact, in my book, I talk about maybe increase the protein intake by 20% when you get to age 65, uh -huh. 70. Um, below the minimum recommended, right? So yeah, absolutely. Um, but then again, if you look at fish, uh, and I have to go with the science, and if you look at most studies, fish is always on the positive side, beside the mercury fish, you know, the, the sword fish and the well, tuna, etc. problem. Yeah, that but, we're facing. but most studies are showing beneficial effects, right? That's why I have to say, even though some people could argue, well, ethically, you know, may or may not be the, the best idea. Um, but if you look at the science, uh, the fish plus vegan seems to be, to be the, the way to go. And what is it, I think when you, you haven't sort of said it ex explicitly, but this relationship between meat intake and the incidence of, of cancer, like what is going on there? Because I think when you say that to somebody, like basically saying, meat causes cancer. Is that what you're saying? And if it's not, if it is, if it isn't, like, I want to kind of clarify that. Yeah. I mean, I don't say that now the World Health Organization says that. So does every other major association. I think the National Cancer Institute, you know, now this is uh, USDA, I think is also now reduced the uh, recommendation on, on protein because of that. So red meat, uh, um, particularly is now recognized by almost every major um uh, association uh, specialized in cancer to be a uh, risk factor or certainly uh, something that you want to avoid in, in high mm -hmm. quantities. Um, in our case, you know, we had multiple papers. Um, we uh, and, and, uh, and Harvard School of Public Health uh, published a series of papers, uh, all of them uh, in, in agreement with this idea, particularly for red meat, but just also uh, for pro high protein. So after our paper, we published one with uh, Ed Giovannucci at Harvard and uh, also confirming that the plant-based diet uh, uh, was protective mm -hmm. uh, compared to uh, a variety of, of uh, diets that included high protein from, uh, uh, from animal sources. And what is the, the active component in meat or red meat that's causing these problems? Is it the high density of protein? Is it the, the hormonal uh, breakdown in it? Like what can that be drilled yeah. down to? Yeah, nobody knows uh, for sure. I mean, there's a lot of uh, speculations of some of it having to do with the heme content. And I've heard different stories and, and uh, different hypotheses. It could be, are they fed uh, steroid hormones? Are they fed antibiotics? Uh, who knows, right, what, what uh, uh, is in that meat? Um, and so uh, probably the combination of pro high proteins, uh, but also other uh, molecules that make it into the meat uh, mm -hmm. out there are probably contributing to, to make it very clear that particularly the red meat seems to be detrimental. Right. But in our paper, uh, we showed that all the animal um, uh, high protein diet from, from all animal sources uh, were detrimental right. Um, and, uh, a high plant-based diet was no longer detrimental. High protein from plant-based sources was no longer detrimental for overall mortality. So there's no effect, uh, but it still was, uh, uh was, um, detrimental for cancer. So mm -hmm. it still showed up you know, if somebody had lots of proteins from, uh, uh, from vegetable sources, uh, that still was associated with an increased, uh, and a risk for, for um, cancer, but that was, it was in most cases a combination 
uh, of animal and and plant based. Right, products. I got you. What about uh, what about saturated fat? 